Today on the channel for the WWE Mattel Elite Greatest Hits Series 2, we've got Batista. here and welcome back to the channel for another WWE Mattel Elite unboxing and review and today on the channel we've got the brand new Elite Greatest Hits Series 2 Batista but for all your Batista needs and a whole lot more make sure you're hitting up ringside collectibles use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% and of course these are shipping from ringside collectibles that's where I got mine from and that's what we're going to talk about here today is old Dave Batista don't call him Blue Tista but he is kind of known as Blue Tista in this get up here and of course this is part of the greatest hits line a line where we're getting what's as old as new again in a lot of ways but it's got all the new updated bells and whistles with some new paint features, uh, articulation, the face scans, of course. Definitely a little bit of difference, but enough difference to make you want to buy them. I guess we'll find out here in this very video. And of course, we're going to do it like we do all the other videos here on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's see what old Blue Tista is up to. And we've never done a Batista countdown on the channel, but I'd have to say, gun to my head right now, Blue Tista is probably my favorite Batista look. I always thought it was so cool. The paperboy hat, the shades, all the blue colors going on. A very interesting look for old Batista. But one of these days we'll do a top 10 Batista figures on the channel. There's no doubt about it. But very cool, of course, the Greatest Hit Series. This is number two. Now, Greatest Hit Series 1 was an interesting one as we did see them on Walmart shippers but besides that outside of a couple local toy stores i never saw them at retail i never saw them at target i didn't see a restock at walmart some walmarts didn't get them at all so it's been a very interesting one as it's funny how that rikishi from the greatest hits line is worth about as much as the hall of champions one from back in the day because it was so hard to get to i do see an occasional rock and ray mysterio in my travels from time to time but that set pretty much came and went it'll be interesting if that uh, comes to target big lots of the world something like that or if it really is kind of one and done uh, it'll be interesting to see where this line goes as well and it's interesting i don't know how mattel decides which ones need to be re-released because i don't know if anybody was really clamoring for uh, the blue tista figure it is a cool figure i just don't ever heard anybody say i couldn't find it uh, i wanted to get it cheaper or anything like that like some of the other ones maybe like rikishi and some of the other ones from series one and definitely harley race in this series as well but we'll see what happens here but definitely uh very familiar packaging on design here got wwe logo got elite greatest hits like i said glamour shot batista batista in all of his glory true effects certified authentic batista wwe playing all the hits on the side and there's old Batista just looking like somebody snapped his picture real quick. He wasn't ready for it and just got his picture snapped. Definitely a, an interesting look for Batista there with that beard and kind of the shaved head. And on the back, there it is. We've got the big cross cell. Of course, we're unboxing all these ones on the channel. Make sure you subscribe to this very YouTube channel because we got videos every single day, as you guys know. We are very dangerously close to 30,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel. When we hit that, we got a big giveaway, so you don't want to miss out on that one. But we do got the cross sell down low, got the tail of the tape, got the blurb, got the glamour shot, all the hits being played on the old Blue Tista packaging. Let's see what it says about our old friend Big Dave here. From Washington, D.C. I don't know if it's ever beautiful in Washington, D.C. It's full of them politicians. You know Lemmy and his thoughts on politicians. Uh, but politicians everywhere. And then uh, a lot of shootings out there. There are a lot of shootings in Washington, D.C., I don't know. I've never been. Maybe maybe one day. I've seen it on TV. That's enough for me. But from Washington, D.C., height, six foot six, 290 pounds. Finisher, the old Batista bomb. Career highlights, WWE champion, world heavyweight champion, WWE tag team champion. At Payback 2014, the animal rejoined forces with his Evolution stablemates to take on the Shield in a six-man elimination tag team match. And that's one of those matches that you really kind of forget even exists. It's one of those things you see a YouTube clip flashback and you're like, geez, I don't remember Evolution taking on the Shield. That seems so strange, but just kind of one of those things there. But that was, I think, the start of his Hunter uh, feud. I think that was the case. Correct me if I'm wrong there, but let's get old Batista out of the package. Let's see what all the fuss is about. And let me tell you, there's always fuss about Batista. Not sure there's fuss about Blue Tista, but we'll roll with it. We'll roll with it. We'll roll with the punches. See you later. Goodbye. And old Blue Tista out of the package there, looking good. And of course, we're going to compare it to the old version of Blue Tista. We got it. We got to do it for science. And boy, that plastic broke right away. 
Uh, that's interesting to see. Maybe a cheaper brand of plastic being used on these. Who knows? Pull him out. We get extra hands. Always here for some extra hands. Sure, why not? Why not? There it is. See you later. Goodbye. All right, let's get down to business here. Let's uh, get Batista off to the side. And we're going to take a look at these two extra hands here. Now, he has two gripping hands. If you're familiar with Batista from Elite 33, which this is based on, uh, he did come with gripping hands, uh, and that was his only hands, if I correctly. Yeah, that would be his only hands. We didn't have extra hands back then. So we just had the gripping hands. Happy to report we got two Fists of Fury here. And about these greatest hits, since I have both of them, I want to make them as different as possible. Uh, the old Batista going to keep these gripping hands, going to keep the two fists of fury on this new blue Batista here for me. But good hands on Batista. I love the tattoo work onto the hands. Always helps trying to find Batista hands too. You're like, oh, there's the one with the tattoos on it. You know they are for Batista. So we got two hands there. We do got some more accessories here. We do get his little Newsies hat. We get some sunglasses going on. And then we got his blue vest. Now, love this Newsies hat, this Paperboy hat. Absolutely a big fan of this one. It's kind of a, uh, I don't know, a sand color, a sand color. And you know what? I'm going to grab the other Batista out right now so we can have this here for comparison. Looks to be the identical hat, however, different color. So this is a little bit of a lighter color. This is more of a, a darker color, we'll call it there once again i love the points of difference if you're going to re-release something okay i get it but make some subtle changes here and that's the first of many we're going to talk about in this review so you got the changes between the hats here and then you can see it right there in the glasses we got the white sunglasses on this one the black sunglasses on the old one so definitely a point of difference right there Happy to see that, but nice white sunglasses for Batista. Nice black frames with the white looking really nice. Now the vest seems to be identical. Uh, a little, nah, I was going to say, it's so close. Uh, the colors are identical there. And then, of course, the wrappings on the arms and the legs being all in blue is the same. Maybe a little bit more bright blue on this uh, brand new one. I'm not going to say 100%, but close enough to be dangerous. Tattoos are all there, of course, as usual. The biggest difference we see is, of course, the articulation. The pinless joints playing all the hits right here. We do see that difference there. A little bit darker, a little bit darker blue in the new one as far as the boot colors go as well. And then a big one that, of course, I just noticed there is he's got the bald spot, very Arn Anderson Galoob like on the old one. We do not have that on the new ones. So definitely a point of difference right there. Old Batista's bald spot. Uh oh, Batista taking a header, losing his glasses, losing it all. <laughs> but Batista. Looking good, and definitely the heads are going to be way different between the two as well. Uh, the True Effects one is very interesting, as they both look like Batista, uh, but this one is a lot cleaner as far as the beard lines, where this is a little more scruffy, I guess, more like uh, natural scruffiness there. Definitely interesting. The same head, just that's the difference between paint and uh, True Effects. Definitely can see the difference between the two. Very interesting. Technology, it's an interesting thing, we'll say. How about that? But of course, articulation, head, back, forth, side, side. Is head going to be removable here? Let's see. Oh, there we go. Of course, I think some of the greatest hits, one, were not removable, if I remember correctly, but this one is removable here. Arms do go all the way around as usual. Bicep cut, double jointed, pinless elbows playing the hits. Hands removable, hands back, forth, side to side. Big old Dave Batista splits if needed. He does got the ab crunch in the middle as well. You got the thigh cut. Double jointed knees, not pinless, not pinless, but we do got double jointed knees going on. Do you got a boot cut, ankles back, forth, side to side, like we are accustomed to. Now, does Dave Batista fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle for your stands as well. Make sure you get the Mattel stand. What do you know? Fits perfectly right there. I don't mind this vest. It's not a must-have vest, but it does help the overall uh, overall appearance of old Blue Tista, I would say, at the end of the day. And then, of course, we do got, uh, I don't know, he's got a target on his butt. Is that what that is? I don't know what's going on here. Why would you put a target on your butt right there? What are you looking to do, Dave? What are you looking to do? And we do got that same one over here as well, for those keeping track at home. Uh, but definitely an interesting uh, tights color there. But I love the coloring on Blue Tista, for sure. Love the colorful tattoos. Love the blue wrappings on the legs and on the arms. Just a very cool figure of Batista. A, a little bit of a head scratcher because I'm kind of surprised that people were clamoring for this one to be re-released. -re It'd be interesting to see if Mattel ever said the reason why some of these come back. Uh, but I don't know if this is one that, out of all the Batistas, if this is the one people really wanted. 
I don't know, I guess you guys tell me your thoughts in the comments down below, but by no means do I dislike this Batista. It's always been a favorite. It's always popped. I like uh, the extra stuff, the color differences here. Uh, they remove the bald spot for good or for bad. So there is some differences between the two. Uh, I don't know. Is it the greatest Batista figure of all time? That is definitely debatable, but I do like what they did here. And it's not a bad figure at the end of the day, especially if you missed out on the old one from Elite Series 33. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. You picking this one up? You passing? You playing the long game? Did you have the other version? Let me know your thoughts on this old Dave Batista figure as part of Greatest Hits Series 2. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. Of course, videos every single day and even more content, including early access to videos like this, over on the Patreon channel, your best way to support the channel and all of its content. And of course, don't forget ProWrestlingTees.com. You can also support the channel by picking up a t-shirt. And don't forget to follow along and follow me at social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Blue Tista, I am Kyle, and I'll see you guys all real soon.